Hey guys, this is Sam from Deep South Overlander. We're back in the garage uh, today, and uh, it's, and uh, what we're gonna do today is modify this set of Overlander drawers. Those were given to me by a friend, and they're great. But the tray that I have here for the um, uh, for the refrigerator is a little bit too tall. The refrigerator ends up being right here, so when I pull it. I can't quite open the lid because it touches the uh, tailgate or the, the hatch rather. And so what I'm what my plan is for today is two things. A, we're gonna uh, take away, you know, take the drawers out and everything. And then what I would like to do is right here, I want to drop the the drop the actual uh, fridge slider. So that's an ARB OEM fridge slider. Just going to modify this drawer and drop it about right here and then i'm going to make it so the whole entire slide um, actually slides out and then i'm going to hinge it right here and what, what what that will do is right here i'm going to put some hinges and what that will do is once i pull the drawer it will tilt the fridge down and then i'll be able to access uh, the inside of the fridge i'm going to do it i don't have all the equipment today to film so I'm going to do it and then I'll do, um, I'll show you at the end how I did it. And uh, that's going to be it for today. If I have time, after I cut all of this, what I'm planning on doing is I have that, uh, that battery over there. And that's where I'm going to put all my electrical. So I'm planning on building a bulkhead right behind the seat, behind the uh, one third seat. And that's when I'm going to install all the electronics. So my inverter, uh, my solar power um, convert uh, controller um, and everything else that I need to do the auxiliary battery basically all auxiliary power will be right there behind the seat slightly dropped because I'm I don't need all that depth for the drawer either so I'm gonna drop everything and make a bulkhead so that's the plan for today stay tuned built a, uh, a crude little sleeping platform, but it does a great job. I removed my two-thirds seat, which gives me plenty of space. I'm not gonna have enough time for the summer to build all of this up the way I wanted to do it, which means building an extension of the drawer system. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. It's perfectly solid. I'm just gonna put a two by four right here on edge to solidify this, and that's gonna be perfect. And then you can see from the inside, the fridge goes over there, and then I sleep this way. Um, and then I have usually one dog sitting here, sleeping here or in the front, and then I sleep right here at the end of the day. At the end, by the end of the, the night, both dogs are bundled up with me, um, which is fine. So um, plenty of space, I like it. So the first order of business to modify the drawer is I need to remove the wing that I built is attached, is attached to the top. I gotta remove the drawer, the fridge slide and the top, and then I'll figure out how to modify it. I know that uh, my friend who gave me that drawer system actually glued together the um, the plywood, so that's gonna be a bummer. I may end up having to use a uh, reciprocating saw and sort of slice the glue at the bottom. We'll see. I don't wanna spend a whole lot of cash uh, buying new plywood, so we're gonna make use of a lot of things that I already have. I had some other drawer system from my Jeep. I intend to reuse the drawer, I um, mean the slides and everything. Um, this is gonna be a build on the cheap type deal. Stay tuned. By the way guys, AHC, low position to work on your truck, tits. I have to remove the top in order to remove the drawers because these drawers are built very economically and, and also great. There is no uh, there is no slider, so you can use the full width of the uh, of the frame, and they ride on little metal um, quarter um, uh, corner aluminum, which I have applied some soap on both the uh, 
the bottom of the drawer and the aluminum piece and they slide very very well i mean it's a heavy drawer full length and it slides it slides okay and it doesn't move back however the way you build it is you put a little cleat on the back of the drawer and then you put a cleat here so when you get to the end it basically that's what stops the drawer from falling off so in order to remove the drawer i have to remove the top so that's what i'm doing right now i remove the uh the drawer the uh, fridge slider um and now i'm going to pop the top remove the drawers and start working on the uh reconfiguring all of that first i'm going to mark I'm gonna draw a line where my screw holes are so I know exactly where the center of that plywood is. I keep reference um, and then uh, we'll go from there. The wing is attached to the top, so that's convenient. I'm just gonna leave that on top and just pop the top. Now it it's, can come open. Here you can see with the top open or removed rather how those, uh, that drawer stop functions. You have the cleat right here and then you cut the side of the drawer which presents a natural stop. You can cut this as short as you can to get as maximum extension to the drawer. And you can see the, uh, the corner aluminum that sits and serves as a, uh, as a slider. And like I said, I put some soap on there and it's absolutely perfect. So when you pull, you can see the natural stop here against the cleat. You can go and get more extension by just leaving just a little piece at the end. I think I'm gonna modify and I'm going to actually go to a full um, drawer slider on this one, on this side at least, um, for the fridge. But again, I'm not sure because this is a pretty well-built drawer. It's really sturdy. And like I said, the sides are glued to the bottom, which will be a real pain to take, a, to take off. So I may just modify this side, drop the entire thing, cut everything with the jigsaw or circular saw and then um you know play it like this and so the fridge will stay right here in the middle and i can just kind of slide it in and out so we'll see for now i'm gonna remove the drawers and start brainstorming okay first snag these uh stops are glued to the side so i'm gonna have to uh chisel them out i guess so i can remove the drawer you really don't need to glue them. Two screws will be plenty to keep that together. I don't know why they did, but uh, whatever, um, let's keep going. All right, so I have the drawer out of the truck. And now that I'm thinking about it, I really don't want to get into a lot of belt up or belt out, sorry. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to build the secondary drawer for the fridge inside this one. Um, I just hope that it's deep enough, I mean, uh, wide enough. So I'm going to go measure uh, the fridge and then see if I can fit an inside drawer basically here within the constraint of this primary drawer. And then I will leave this one as is just sliding on the, um, on the uh, aluminum rail. I think that's what I want to try to do. So I'm going to go get the fridge and see if I have the width to do that. I apologize for the for the audio but it's raining in the shop and the metal roof it makes a racket but basically here's the fridge inside the drawer so I think I have enough room the fridge is about 15 inches and the drawer about 19 so I think if I build the platform of the secondary drawer for the fridge out of a half inch at the bottom and maybe three quarter on each side or vice versa half inch at the bottom and three quarters plus the slides that I will use, the drawer slides that I will use, I think I'm gonna have enough. And uh, I'm decided I'm not gonna reuse the uh, OEM ARB fridge slide. First of all, it's it weighs a ton. And I think I wanna do this. And so by doing this, I think I'm gonna save some weight and definitely it's the less impactful build. So I'm doing I'm just winging everything, guys, so bear with me. So here are the uh, old slides, uh, full, exten full extension slides. They don't lock, but they'll be all right. They're rated for 200 pounds. Um, I'm gonna use that. So I have to measure the width of both of these and then see how my tolerance is on the inside to see if I have enough to build an inside drawer. Um, 
if not, I'll have to figure out what I'm gonna do. Maybe just a platform or something like that. And then have, and put these like this. Um, I don't know, but I need to measure the full width and then measure everything. I think I may have just enough to do it. To do it. So let's see. The thing that I'm going to do is actually reduce the overall length of that drawer. Two reasons for that. I want to build that bulkhead in the back to put the uh, all the electrical, and I think I'll reuse some of that um, some of that space, reclaim some of that space that space behind the drawer carcass um, in order to, uh, to to shove the electrical up in there. And if I leave it like this, since that drawer is going to be sliding this this way, then it would be very hard to go reach whatever is in the back of that. So I think I'm just going to chop that and just bring the drawer back and reclaim about, um, I don't know, 10 inches or so. And then I'll go ahead and do the same thing in the back and that will give me a cavity where I can drop basically my battery right here. So that'll be cool. Stay tuned. All right, well, I've just come to the realization that um, this drawer is gone altogether because if I have the second drawer that comes out with the, uh, with the fridge on top, which is then uh, uh, going to be sort of like stationary. If I pull the primary door, drawer, I still can't access anything that's underneath. So um, I'm changing my plans. And now what I'm going to do is build two drawers to go straight inside the carcass, basically, which will give me more room anyway, because it's wider. And so I'm going to attach the fridge slide right here. And then I'm gonna build inside a secondary drawer with the slides, with the fridge, full fridge slide. So I'm gonna take away these, uh, this thing is gonna be perfect. Hey right, guys, I'm so basically you. that's where we are. I installed this piece, which is gonna be the base for my slider for the fridge. It's 29 inches long, which is roughly about two inches longer than the fridge. I have modified this drawer um, and I've decided to leave it uh, sliding on the aluminum rail because it's simple and I can use the full width, which is awesome. So I'm going to cut this. I have now invested into a pocket screw jig, which is fabulous. Uh, reattached the drawer and so that's how it goes. Let's see. I can do that one handed. All right. So. All right, so that will be the small drawer and then the fridge will sit in here, okay? So when we pull, you can see that I'm going to put, I'm gonna use this little piece here. Sorry, I have the pencil in my mouth. I'm gonna use this little piece as the block and then I'm gonna attach a little block right here to stop it, to stop the drawer from going forward. So basically I'll have near full extension um, on that drawer, which will be perfect. And it rests on the tailgate and it's awesome, simple, super, super stoked about that. So I'm gonna cut this, cut this bottom part to size now and then that drawer will be finished. And then we're gonna start working on the sliding, tilting thingamajig for this uh, refrigerator. Right, so I'm gonna use these hinges to, uh, to make the uh, fridge uh, tilt and I'll show you how I'm going to use that. But for now, I'm using these, uh, these uh, I guess, chamfer. I think that's what you call these uh, bolts. So I need to, uh, <clears throat> I need to uh, countersink these plates a little bit more. So I'm using a drill press with a countersink uh, bit. And then I'm enlarging that so they sit flush. So when the hinge is closed, the heads, the heads don't interfere too much. So this is how we're going to attach it. This is the underneath of the fridge slide. And these are my hinges. They're gonna go through the hinge obviously and through three quarter inch uh, plywood. And that will not go anywhere. Uh, for now, I'm just I'm running out of time and I don't have the right bolt, uh, the right bolt and nut combinations, not long enough. So I'm just going to drill uh, large wood screws for now to put everything in place and do a test fit 
and then I will order uh, some uh, longer screws and then that will be that that will be just about perfect stay tuned all right guys so this is basically how the hinges are fixed I drilled put these with in the metal with bolt and this is how the whole thing flips evidently it doesn't need to flip the whole way uh, there's a little spring that goes here that's for the, the release the release mechanism and then the top of the drawer so let me put that on top go get it right here and so that goes on top like such i need to put these uh, roller bearings back here and then i'll show you how that works so here's basically how the mechanism is going to go i need to uh, trim these bolts because they prevent the drawer the slide from going fully engaged or fully out but i will pull the fridge and when it's at its tipping point tipping point it will slide just like this it will tilt and then i will tilt it back lock it in place and we'll be good to go there is a little play here because the hinges here with the size of the bolts they need they're not completely touching each other and so in the back i need to add a little uh, wooden shim so it rests perfectly level um, i'm either going to put um, wood or uh, some sort of like rubber to give it a nice little cushion so the thing um, ends up uh, being su supported and sort of like suspended like a like an engine block support basically um, so i may do that uh, but for now i'm just going to trim this and then uh, we'll give it a shot with the fridge on all right guys well i'm pretty stoked with the way uh, this turned out this was a great project today so the premise is you release here you pull and when the fridge comes it tilts so let's put the fridge on load it up with some water to add some weight and see how that works and as you can see i added a little block in the back so now when it rests it's perfectly perfectly flat i ended up reusing this uh this arb drawer because honestly it's really sturdy super rigid and it's made for the fridge um and it you know the rollers here are super stout and it just it doesn't move whatsoever so it ends up being uh, pretty cool the drawer in the bar at the bottom and then uh, the fridge so let's load the fridge and then uh, we'll see how it, uh, how it tilts all right guys so uh, check this out i'm going to show you how it's done uh, the fridge is not super loaded it's got uh, two three water bottles in there big ones but uh super stoked with the way it came out virtually cost nothing all i did was remodeling and refitting the wood that i had i found some old door hinges and everything works perfectly so let me show you how that works i'm going to try to operate it with one hand and then after that i'm going to refit the top trim it flush all the way around it's going to be it's going to be perfect what do you think what do you think roscoe you approve yeah he's ready for me to just be done with all my projects so we can go on vacation anyway so um i'm going to try to do this one-handed it's not easy release uh let's see how i can do that basically you release here all right and then push and the tip the fridge tilts and it's a uh, perfect angle everything is super accessible now i mean i can go in there and actually see the entire fridge it's super super cool so when you're done lift it up now i have to grab here the release sorry it's not easy the little release right here push it and there you go